do you find work if you're on the dole? First thing I would want to say on this is you have to adapt. A lot of people refuse to adapt, which is why they sit in the dole for the next 20 years. Skills are changing all the time. And I'll tell you now, keeping some of the old skills is worth doing. For example, if you can weld, there's not a demand for welders, but there's demand for welding cars and things like that. So stuff like that on the side is worth doing, but trying to find work doing it, it's not easy. Um, what I would recommend is updating your skill set. Look what jobs are available in your area, if you want to work in your area. <coughs> Otherwise, start looking further afield. I generally do not do FM work in Worcester. Worcester doesn't have a lot there. It's, I mean, it's famous for being a farming community. Um, that's why I focus on Birmingham and London. I prefer London because the rates are about a third more than they are for Birmingham. But I would say Worcester's rates are about one third of London rates. So... You've got to take that into account, which also makes it worthwhile commuting sometimes. Because if I'm doing a contract job, for example, for three months, I don't mind commuting into London every day if I had to. In the same way, I don't mind doing a hotel stay or even stopping in a camper van if it, if it came to it, if the money's there. Um, that's what you, you need to be flexible. And I know a lot of people have come out of jobs where they're used to union type rules. But it won't get you into your next job. Once you're in your job, you can start being a bit more pushy on the way you want things. Um, but what I found myself is, I'll give a couple of example, examples. Uh, I worked for a company called Hack Kitchens years ago. Because um, I was actually getting made redundant from another company. And they have a rule where you have to work at the bottom of production. And then work your way up over several years. It takes about a you know, to become one of the skilled people takes a long period of time. That's what I was told. So when I started there, bearing in mind I was already a skilled carpenter. Um, I'd produced a month's work by, I think it was 10 o'clock. Yeah, it was an early morning shift. So by 10 o'clock, I'd already produced for the whole factory um, a month's worth of work on the production line. So that day, by 12 o'clock, I was already at the top of the the highest place you could get on the in that business. You don't get paid anymore, but it, it's more skills. Um, it makes you valuable to the company. In a similar sense, I worked at another company called... Oh, I can't remember it. They make headlights. They're a Japanese company. But a lot of the... With that one, it was a winter job um, because I generally come off the construction sites in the the winter uh, to stop stop getting the cold into my bones uh, so what i did with that is when i started they had the similar thing you know to progress you know have a year blah 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 but i work very different to a lot of people because i work for my own entertainment value it doesn't matter what i'm doing so in that case they had production line machines that all had a process of you put it here you move it there it goes up there you know it's like take it out of this one put it in the next one add this clip on it you know it's very production line orientated which took about six seven people but i could run everything on my own because for me to keep it entertaining i got their sequence going as they're going up and down so i could actually produce the whole shift worth of um headlights by myself in six hours which basically meant the rest of the team didn't have to do much you know because once we got it into sequence they were packing the boxes and they promoted me within a month to loading the stuff which normally takes a year so the point is you just got to put yourself out there and like i said you've got to find your own entertainment what keeps you busy even if the job's really crap never take a job as the being the only job um if you're working making needles and threads it doesn't matter it doesn't mean you're going to be stuck there for 20 years unless you let yourself get stuck there get in this to pay the bills there's nothing wrong with it what's right with it is you're paying the bills and then can go right i want to and then set your goals what do you want to achieve okay this is the only factory in this area so i need to drive 
I want to pass my driving test. I want to buy a car. I want to get out of this small one horse town. And you work your way with the goals. You do not accept things as simply what, it, what you have is all that's available. All right. Thanks for watching.